Distinguished guests, members of parliament, uh, Sayın Bölkelçi, Hürmetli uh, Millet Vekilleri, uh, I would like also to thank uh, Anatolian Heritage Federation for organizing this event. Uh, I would like to pick up a point from Mr. Van Kesteren about the history. Um, indeed, our roots between Azerbaijan and Turkey are the same. We speak almost the same language, we have the same culture, shared history, and uh, our former president, Heydar Aliyev, even told that uh, about Turkey and Azerbaijan, bir millet, iki dövlet, uh, one uh, uh, nation, two states. So when we see development in Turkey, when we see development between Canada and Turkey, we also uh, very happy, we, we glad because uh, uh, as we uh, share much in common with Turkey in terms of political uh, cooperation, in terms of trade and investment, it's always uh, beneficial for us. Um, I also would like to pick up a point about history. Uh, uh, Van, uh, Mr. Van Kesteren told uh, that uh, Turkey uh, uh, gave a right to women uh, and uh, changed alphabet to Latin. Azerbaijan did the same even earlier in 1918. Uh, 19, they gave a uh, right uh, to vote to women and in 1921 uh, changed alphabet. Uh, but unfortunately, I, how history uh, was uh, development was interrupted by the Soviet invasion and when they put border uh, between Turkey and Azerbaijan. But while they put the physical border, they couldn't put border uh, iron curtain into in, in our souls. So when the Soviet Union collapsed, it was natural that we uh, became united again. Here in Canada, in our, my third point about history, we, um, uh, we've seen some, some uh, I would be frank, negative development when uh, some group of interest, uh, namely Armenian lobby, tried to uh, advance some historical claims. Uh, I did that point early, uh, on some other events uh, previously, and I would like to reiterate that the relationship between countries in the world should not be a hostage of domestic parochial considerations, constituency votes, there is much more uh, between countries to look in the future. My professional background is history, <clears throat> but I became diplomat, so I would say that let's historians to sort out historical difference and let's parliamentarians, policy makers, and diplomats to look into the future and make uh, uh, foreign affairs, international relations, and generally our global uh, village better place, peaceful place, full of uh, mutual trade and investment. Thank you very much.